Namaste. All the beautiful, beautiful souls, welcome to Vaitara Tarot Reading. And today I'm very, very excited because the topic for today's speaker card reading is so very interesting. It is about how can you resolve conflicts in your love life, the conflicts, the problems. How can you end the problems in your love life? Okay, so it is really very unfortunate that the spark which begins a love relationship between two people, as time passes, the spark diminishes, the love is drifted. So many things fill in between the two people, the influences of family, friends, their ego, uh, their work pressures and uh, there are so many things which attributes for situations to worsen in a love relationship but we can always resolve our problems we can always try to sort out the problems in a love relationship it could be a living relationship it could be a love relationship a courtship or a marriage but what happens in most cases is the issue might be serious or superficial. Most of the couples, without giving a chance to revive their relationship, they take major steps, major decisions to get separated and move on in their lives with some other person. But the spark is still in the heart. And it becomes very difficult to have another person in life as love of your life and some other person is in your heart. That's really very, like, miserable. So let's see whether today's speaker card reading will give us insight clarity so as how we can we resolve the conflicts in our love life so are we ready cool the three piles i have placed here this is pile one the pile two and the pile three look at the cards look at the charms whichever pile you're drawn to is pick a card reading to resolve the conflicts in your love life and there is no right or wrong way to choose a pile. The tarot cards are so much aligned, so much real, so much connected that you will choose your pile. That is my guarantee. So without ado, let's start with the first pile. So let me keep the other two piles aside. Yes, so this is the charm for the first pile. The beautiful, beautiful souls who are trying to resolve their problems. And the spread I'm going to do today is a triangular spread because the trio is involved. First is you, second is your partner and third is the conflict. Okay. So, this is the first card. As we proceed, I'll explain it to you. This is the first card. This is what you want, the strength. And this is what you bring about. Seven of Pentacles. This is what your partner wants, the moon card. And this is what your partner brings about, the temperance. This are the things which both of you connect. The hanged man and this card brings in the energies where both of you disconnect or disagree and that is eight of wands. Okay. So this will go like this. It should look like a triangle. Yes. Let me have a broader look at the cards. Let me listen what the cards had to convey me so that I can convey the same message 
to the beautiful, beautiful souls, those who have chosen pile one. Okay. So, with the pentacles, uh, seven of pentacles. Let me just have a look at the cards so that I can listen what the tarots are trying to convey me so that I can pass that message to, to you. Let me look at each card and let me try to sense them. Let me try to listen to what the tarots are trying to convey me so that I can turn out to be a medium to pass on the same messages to the beautiful, beautiful souls, those who have chosen pile one. So with seven of pentacles, you can be an odd sign that is a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. And your partner, your counterpart could be with the cups. Uh, they could be a water sign that is Pisces, Scorpion, or a Cancer. Okay? And there is also the energy of the wands. So either of you could be also a fire sign that is Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. So what do you want? What do you desire from this relationship is the strength. You desire physical strength. You desire psychological strength and you desire all sort of strengths a relationship might reward you know the purpose of marriage the purpose of living in together the purpose of the commitment so you want strength from your relationship that is what you desire that is what you want and you are also a very strong person with a strong mentality So what you desire, what you want is fine. But what actually are you bringing to this relationship? What is your contribution to this relationship? So that is coming through the seven of pentacles. So what you are contributing to this relationship is you think that the love from this relationship is slowly diminishing. And you have made up your own decision, your own opinion about this relationship, which is one-sided that they don't love you anymore. And that is your personal opinion. But still, you don't want this relationship to let go off. So you think that maybe... You both can be together as friends. That is your opinion. Are you understanding what the tarots are trying to tell you? Please listen to the tarots carefully. So your opinion is love is drifting away from your life. But you don't want end this relationship you don't want to leave this person you want to be with this person and perhaps you think that you can be friends good friends and you can still be together so your behavior to your towards your partner is that of a friend you're highly skillful you do you all your work the, your household chores, your professional work, everywhere, like wherever you're taking up a work or taking up a job, you're doing it with perfection because you are a very, very skillful person. But all these things, what is all these thoughts which is going 
in your mind is could be delusion we will know it as we proceed uh with the readings but what i am sensing uh what vibes i am getting from this card is that all your perception is your delusion and this could not be right okay so what does your partner desire what do they desire what do they want from this relationship and i see a moon here the moon is embodiment of beauty love compassion but however the moon which is uh, shown in the picture is gloomy not not happy uh, looking down like what is happening so what they want from this relationship is they want the sense of wholeness the sense of wellness they want a complete relationship a perfect relationship okay but somehow their desires are doubtful because i see so much like so many poisonous uh there's a scorpion and there is a, there is a fox there's a dog and uh what i sense is that uh the moon is shedding tears okay all the life on the earth is very very strongly connected with the emotions of the moon the water the animals the plants so all the animals are attuned to the emotions of the moon so your partner desires from this relationship is the sense of well being the sense of love compassion that is what they desire and what do they bring what are they contributing towards their relationship is the temperance with the cups i can sense that there is deep love towards you from your partners your partners really love you they have immense love for you with the cups cups is the uh, representation of love so there is love from the other side and what they are trying to do is they are trying to bring about balance in the relationship they are understanding that why are they able to resolve the problems in their love life and they are trying to bring the balance with by creating the temperance okay they are making things they are working out with ideas they are making concoctions they are making magical portions so that they can resolve they can solve the problems in this in their love life and they are changing they are adapted to change themselves by blending you know they are trying to see what uh is the weakness from their side and they are trying to understand their weakness and they are trying to blend it they are trying to change so they are have already applied the change from their side so that they can secure their relationship and i can sense strong love in the card so your partner really loves you and you are more towards like the strength the physical strength the psychological strength the social strength the money you are more more attracted towards the material uh, assets in your life and as i already told you that whatever you are sensing whatever your perceptions are whatever your opinions are all delusions because the person here is standing like confused absolutely no idea like he is just looking at something and he his mind is somewhere else so this is you and what all you have made up in your mind is all false it is all delusional Okay so come out of this state and try to understand that your partner wants well-being wholeness compassion love from this relationship and there is a lot of love for you from them and they are trying to change they are trying to blend temperance is also a representation of uh unification of the opposite energies the feminine and the masculine energies so they want both of you to be together like completely merged up 
within each other so that is what they are bringing in the relationship and this card the fifth card shows us or conveys us what are the things which you both agree or where you both connect to each other that is hanged man hanged man is to look into the situation upside down what is being shown to you you also see things which are not being shown to you and hanged man is also a representation of uh, sacrificing so whenever it comes whenever the question of sacrificing or compromising so that uh, you can build a happy ambience in your family for your kids for your uh, parents for your other family members for your friends so whenever there is a opportunity to compromise or opportunity to sacrifice both of you are all ready to sacrifice so that things can move ahead smoothly that's really wonderful and that's really highly compassionate even for each other like what you desire you are ready to get into compromise for that so that your partner is happy and your partner also does the same thing for you so you both connect when it comes to compromise when it comes to leave things or leave your desires so that you can make others happy so then what is the problem in this relationship what is the problem in this relationship it is is it all that what you are thinking is that all your opinions are uh, being turning heavier into your relationship because as far as i don't see any such big issue which cannot be resolved you think your partner don't love you and that is absolutely wrong the tarot have very strongly conveyed to you that if you think that uh, your partner doesn't loves you anymore if you think that uh, still you cannot leave them you have to be with them and you are behaving you are their love interest so why would you behave to them like a friend they need much more warmth from this relationship than just friendship they might be attached to you emotionally they need an emotional support they need physical support they need uh, all kinds of support which a relationship demands okay so what all they expect from you is that well being they want the completeness the wholeness they want the love in the life to come back both of you all okay so it reminds me of a very old saying that when people have conflicts in their love relationship they go for advices they go in search of suggestions from their families and uh, they come up with more confused opinions so when there is problem between both of you why do you want the third person to get involved in the whole scenario why can't you both sit and communicate and resolve your problem that is the actual way of resolving a problem there is no space for the third person in a love relationship you can read out books with this much of volumes like how to resolve a love relationship how can you make your love relationship happy how can you live with compassion how can you like make your marriage successful but all this is not needed it is just that you need to understand the simple words two little simple most compassionate words that is love so try and understand the meaning of love through the perception of your partner because your partner is deeply madly crazily in love with you and they are trying to change themselves they have changed themselves to a larger extent so that 
they can make you happy and you both are doing so many compromises and sacrifices so that you can stick together then where is the conflict anyhow let's look at the last card that is what are the things where you both disconnect or where you don't agree that is it's really unfortunate there is so much of friction there is so much of um, ego so both of you all disagree to accept that you love each other now tell me who can help you it is you you can only help yourself so that you can come out of this situation because both of you all completely disagree completely deny to accept that you are in love with each other but believe me the cards are saying that your partner especially is totally in love with you and whatever opinions you are making up is all delusionally delusionally it is all false and you disagree to accept that you love each other and you are waiting the other person you are waiting them to come to you and tell that they love you and they are waiting that you will go to them and you will tell them that uh, you love them so you want them to attempt first and they want you to attempt first so that you can bring a back that spark in your love life and what is stopping you from doing that is your ego you are thinking that if he loves me or if they love me so much why can't they come and tell me that you know i love you it's okay we can resolve things we can there is like it's not not a big issue we can easily resolve whatever the conflict is and same thing is happening in their mind so please those who have chosen pile one understand that a relationship needs everything it needs social security it needs psychological strict security it needs a uh, mental strength and it needs wholeness it needs compassion it needs love it needs to compromise so that you can keep each other happy and it also needs to surrender yourself to each other to accept that you are in love with each other and one more magical thing what i found in this card like there is a repetition of number 8 can you see here a roman number 8 and here also 8 so 8 uh, is an angelic number and this represents that you people need to bring balance in your life which is already been put into practice by your partner so you need to bring balance in your life through listening to your heart's instinct listen to what your heart says okay and 88 is also a number which brings about the twin flame energy in a couple so you people are twin flames that's why you are you are stick together like you are whatever the situation is you are not thinking to separate or move on you are you want to be together now you that you understand what the problem actual problem is in the relationship i believe that you will try to resolve the conflict go and tell your partner how much you love them and see what they have to tell you in turn they might be telling you more compassionate and more subtle things than you expect so please those who have chose pile 1 the beautiful beautiful souls the very compassionate souls the highly compromising the highly sensitive the highly subtle souls understand that you are twin flame energy and you cannot be separated nothing can separate you so why do you want to make uh, your days pass off in a very wrong thinking and why do you want to make everything so difficult when it could be easily resolved so actually the conflict is this much and it can be resolved like this so go ahead and 
resolve the conflict in your love life and always be happy keep that warmth in the love and enjoy your togetherness celebrate your togetherness so that is what i've got for those who have chosen file 1 and with that we come to an end let's move with file 2 the beautiful souls those who have chosen file 2 to, to resolve their conflicts in their love life let us see what the tarot have stored up for them so the split which i am going to do today is the triangular split because it is about the trio it is about you your partner and the conflicts between both of you all so let us start spreading the cards the first card is what you desire from your relationship the devil card the second card is what are you bringing into your relationship or what are your contributions that is the four of cups the third card is what is your partner's desire what do they desire and they desire the card is the hermit card and what are they contributing towards this relationship is the five of cups The fifth card is what are the planes where both of you all connect both of you all agree and that is the king of cups and the sixth card is what are the situations or what are the ideas or opinions where both of you all disconnect or disagree and i have the magician so when i look at the cards what my cards are trying to tell me i want to listen to what my tarots are trying to tell me so that i can be the medium to convey you the same message or the messages okay so we have three cards with cups four of cups five of cups and king of cups so definitely the compassionate souls those who have chosen pile 2 i see a lot of love a lot of romance from both the sides because cups itself is a repre- uh, representation of love the cupid love the romance in the air there is a lot of love from both the sides you love your partner madly deeply and crazily and so does your partner they love you madly deeply and like a crazy so was it a surprise no you know the feeling which you both hold for each other than me but the tarot are telling me that both of you love each other immensely so what is the conflict it goes like this this is what you desire the devil card the devil card is not a negative card first what we need to understand is that the devil card is not a negative card this is what you desire from your relationship you desire a lot of material gains so what those materials are it could be a big house it could be a luxurious car it could be uh, it could be the social security the bank balance whatever okay so your you are completely obsessed with the material gains you want so much of money so much of rich riches so much of wealth and so much of assets i don't know how much and that desire is turned into obsession and maybe that you want it very in a very little time so that is what you desire from this relationship you desire a lot 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 of material abundance okay and what are you contributing what is your contribution for your relationship 
because you are so much obsessed with the money with the materials with the assets with the riches and with the wealth and maybe you want everything to be created in one day i mean very little time what you must uh, understand significantly is that rome was not built in a day there is time for everything just because your friends your siblings or people you may know they have moved ahead in life they have reached to the peaks of their life they have reached the success of your life it doesn't mean that you can also uh you will also be in the same situation or position in that particular time some for some people success comes with a lot of struggle and after a lot of time you know there is so much of time uh, so much of uh, work so much of work done and so much of uh, failures so for few people success comes easily and for others it comes after facing a lot of failures so what are you contributing to your relationship actually you are contributing nothing you are bringing about boredom you are bringing about apathy you are not happy you are not satisfied you are not content with what you have you are always making complaint it's you who is making complaints all the time that you are not happy with what you have and you want more and more and more and more and the cravings are so high the cravings are so uh, giant that i don't know how your partner would be able to give you all that you desire and what we also must understand is that when you are in love in the initial days of your love when you are in romantic conversations your partner they promise you that once we are in together once we once we move in together once we marry i will uh bring this for you i mean i will bring the stars from the sky i will make a dream house i'll buy you a luxurious car or i will buy you a diamond ring or i'll give you that and i'll give you this and they pamper us with so many gifts especially what we love to have you know they struggle they save so that they can bring us gifts on special occasions like birthdays and new years and we fall so much to this materialistic things that we think that this is going to continue throughout our life if they would have been in a position to do so they would have done it you must understand that there must be some problem that is why they are not able to fulfill what they have promised you or fulfill what you desire so you have to understand the problems from their perspective their perception okay so what does your partner desire from this relationship actually those who have chosen pile one i i sense that the the conflict or the problem is little bit serious or deeper because your partner is very like deeply hurt because they are not able to fulfill your desires complete your desires they think that they should leave everything and they should move on and live a life of a hermit in solace in complete solitude because they have been working so hard for so many years and they are not able to manifest the abundance or the riches or the wealth what they desire you know as a human being we all have desire for a good house 
and all the material things possible around us which gives us a sense of happiness and elevation because we are connected to the outward happiness through material gains so they think that they are a failure a complete failure or they need to get themselves detached from everything all the relationships and all the materialistic pleasures and they have to they they need to move on and the rest of life they want to spend like a hermit in complete solitude this thing comes up in their thoughts again and again and again and again because they think they are absolute failures and they are also kind of subtle people with subtle mentality introvert not good at expressing whatever emotions it could be love it could be anger it could be anything so they are so they are not good at expressing so this is really alarming situation and what they are contributing to this relationship with five of cups i can sense that the wounds are deeply underlined and they have lost all hopes for this relationship to get revived but still they have a little hope a ray of hope is still on and they have they are waiting here so that you will call upon them so just your call can resolve all your conflicts they still want things to be together they wants you both of you all to be together so they are waiting so that you will stop them you will tell them that it's fine i know that what you have promised me or what i desire from this relationship all that will be manifested into our lives no matter it will take a longer time but we will together work hard to generate what we want into our lives so they are waiting eagerly curiously because they don't want to live a life of a hermit so they are waiting for you to stop them and you can stop them through extending your solace to through extending your console comfort love tell them that they are not failure tell them that they have been doing their practices and they have been working hard sooner they will yield you both of you all will yield fruitful results together so help them revive help them gain back their confidence so it's you who have to come up front and it's you who have to initiate things to resolve the conflict in your relationship because your partner is the state of mind they are coping up currently is total blackout it's blank they are numb no feelings no hopes anyhow let's move with the next card and see that what are the things or what is the plane where both of you all connect agree with each other it is king of cups king of cups brings in the energy of love obviously as i can see lots and lots of love in the cards but there is lot of emotional pain also so king of cups promises to bind balance to bring back the balance especially the emotional balance so you need to support each other you do support that is where you both connect you connect with each other to support emotionally on emotional plane both of you all are connected so deeply your partner understand what they couldn't bring into the relationship and you are obsessed to have all the material gains material things in your life 
and your partner is feeling sad about that they are not able to give you what you want and there must have been so many situations when both of you all sit and do uh, discuss about these things and both of you all end up connecting to each other deeply emotionally so there is a strong emotional bond which connects you both of you all and this emotional bond can bring about balance in your relationship so it is you who have to initiate ahead you have to take the first step to resolve the conflicts in your love life because your partner is deeply and immensely going through a lot of trauma in their mind in their heart okay so if you won't help them come out from this situation the things are going to i don't know where they will head so it is you who can save your relationship because when there is love nothing else matter that is what my opinion there is so much of love you love your partner your partner loves you there is so much of emotional connection then just because the material things are not generated it is not at all fair in fact it is absolutely ridiculous to make these things to stretch these things and make it a bigger issue this is the common problem between most of the couples you know everything is smooth everything is fine and when the things comes like money comes into the picture the things are ruined completely so you can stop from things to get worse so what are the things or what is the plane where both of you all disconnect or disagree it is magician the magician and the magician is the rising sun the happy dawn full of vibration full of positivity and full of exuberant energies and both of you all disagree that you will see any magic happening into your relationship both of you all disagree that your relationship will see a beautiful morning and both of you all disagree that some kind of magic will happen into your life because there is so much of obsession from your side and there is so much of sadness from their side there is love still your love is overshadowed by your obsession and by their sadness you connect so well together emotionally and both of you all disagree or disconnect disconnect with the opinion that your relationship is going to see a beautiful morning a happy morning happy ending so you have to bind that hope into your partner's mind that our relationship is going to see a good beautiful mornings with what all we desire with what all we want and our love story is going to have a happy ending it is going to be a super duper happy ending okay so that is what i have got for those who have chosen pile 2 and i need to make a little suggestion and that suggestion is that when there is love in your relationship love is like a very delicate thread okay and when both of you stretch it from the two ends it will break and if you realize that you did a mistake after the thread is broken then the only option left would be to make a knot and again be together but remember that the thread will be not as it was earlier no matter you have made a knot and you are together but the knot will always be making you remind that the mistakes you did in your relationship so don't stretch don't stretch it release it 
relax initiate initiation from initiation should be from your side there is love don't let the love of your life go away from you because love is the only feeling which you can treasure for your whole life so that is what i have got for those who have chosen pile 2 Let's move with the third pile the beautiful souls those who have chosen the third pile let's see what the tarot have stored up for you so that you can resolve all your conflicts in your love life and feel the warmth forever till the infinity okay so the first card i have is knight of wands the emperor three of swords seven of swords king of swords and the last card is 10 of wands so the spread uh we are doing today is the triangular spread because it is the trio you your partner and the conflicts the first card brings in the energy what you desire from this relationship when i look at the broader picture and when i try to listen to what my cards have to say to me what messages they want to convey to me so that i can be the medium to pass on the messages to you what i see in the cards is that there are three cards with air energy three of swords and the uh, seven of swords king of swords so i strongly sense that those who have chose pile 3 you could be an air sign a libra a gemini or an aquarius okay or with the wands two wands knight of wands and 10 of wands i also feel that uh, you could be a fire sign that is aries sagittarius or a leo what you desire from this relationship knight of wands what you desire from this relationship is you are looking for honesty you are looking for maturity and you are looking for the wiser decisions to be made by your partner so you are someone who cannot you who don't have or who don't want any kind of infidelity any kind of cheating from your partner so you want a very honest relationship because you yourself is very honest very loyal the emperor card shows that so what you desire from this relationship is honesty loyalty and wiser decisions to be made from your partner okay and what are you contributing what are you bringing into your relationship the emperor the emperor is the most intellectual person of the country of his kingdom an emperor can never be wrong emperor cannot take wrong decisions and emperor cannot make partial decisions so you your set of mind is that of an emperor and you think that you 
have all the leadership skills and all the leadership qualities and you want your partner to give importance to your suggestions, to your values, because you are the one who commit lesser mistakes. So you want your partner to listen to you, to follow to you, to look up to you, to take your suggestions and to take your advices. And you want to lead this relationship. You want to be the one who will take this initiation steps for everything related to your relationship. So you are a leader. You are in the position of an emperor. Okay. So that is what you contribute into your relationship. Major decisions in your relationship are made by you because you are the one who is wise and you expect the same traits to be shown by your partner. So let's see what are the desires of your partner. With three of swords, I find that your partner desires freshness in the relationship, new beginning. Because they find that things are tangled so much instead of untangling, instead of resolving, instead of reviving relationship, they want everything to be dumped there and they want things to start up fresh, things to start up pleasantly. Because they are very weak at heart. The three swords are piercing the heart. So emotionally, your partner is weaker compared to you, weaker than you. So that's why they are scared to untangle, scared to resolve their conflicts. Instead, they want to forget all their conflicts and they want to start up fresh. And they think that when they start up fresh, there won't be any conflicts again in a relationship, but they are wrong, you know. A relationship always has some or other problems. Otherwise, there is no adventure, there is no compassion. If the, everything is smooth, then how will you understand that whether really the love exists or not, you know. It is just they are immature they are weak at heart that's why they think that the desire they want freshness in the relationship okay and uh, maybe that is what makes you feel that they are not honest because every time they are coming up with new ideas and uh, the next day again with another idea the next day with one more idea they never stuck they never stand on their promises they never stuck to their decisions so what are they contributing towards the relationship what are they bringing into the relationship is the energy of seven of swords okay so these people are more kind of physical attraction uh, they like glamour they like physical appearance that makes them really elevated the moods are elevated when they see something beautiful in front of their eyes so that might be the reason why you feel that your your partner might be cheating upon you or that's why you give so much of importance to the honesty because these things you don't connect to these things. So he is a kind of uh, very charming person and he wants, he is attracted to the same charm. So with the seven of swords, they are bringing the energy of instability. They don't know what they want from this relationship and what I also find from this card is that you people are very very young you are just into the relationship 
it could be a, a living relationship it could be an emotional relationship a love relationship or a marriage so he is not i mean sorry your partner is not sure about what they want from this relationship because what they want is love no doubt but the swords he they are holding in their hands is your love they are 1 2 3 4 5 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, five swords they are uh, holding in their hands. That is the love of their partner. That is your love. And again, their complete focus is on the swords which are behind them. These swords are, don't belong to them. But still... The focus is behind, you know, that is maybe infatuation or attraction. It is not that your partner is cheating upon you, but that is their nature, you know. They appreciate the beauty, they appreciate the glamour. They have enough of beauty and glamour in their partner, but if they see somebody who is beautiful, they are naturally attracted to them and that brings about instability in their thoughts so they are not clear they are fickle minded and when you say that these things you dislike these things then they would say what is disliking about it you know whenever there is something beautiful around you it could be a thing or a person you have to tell them that uh, that is beautiful you are beautiful so you don't make it big issue and they are completely okay with what they are doing and that is their nature and you have to accept that their nature what I'm sensing through the cards so what are the plane or what is the scenario or situation where both of you all connect to each other is king of swords what I find through this card, the energy I'm getting is that both of you all are very, very ambitious or you share the same ambition. Your goal is same. What you want from the life career wise or uh, making your career wise, the purpose of your life, the ambition, the goals are same or you are very, very highly ambitious. And when you find opportunities which could connect you to your ambitions both of you jump into action both of you work enthusiastically both of you work very hard so that you can achieve all your goals and ambitions that is really a very positive aspect in a relationship when both the partners are involved together to make their career that's really really brighter side of a relationship so both of you are very ambitious and both of you take up new opportunities whatever comes into your way and both of you work very hard so that you can uh, and uh, you are highly intellectual people you execute your plan so well like no shortcuts in order so that uh, your future would will be bright together you dream for a bright future and together you work to make your future bright so that is the plane where both of you all connect so what is the problem in your relationship what is the conflict so let us understand the conflict that is coming through the points or the views or the opinions where both of you all disagree or disconnect that is the ten of wands so Ten of Wands brings in the energy of work stress or physical stress or physical weakness. Okay, And Ten is also a number which is a representation that whatever conflicts you are going through in your life that will come to an end. One zero zero is an indication of completion. So this conflict is going to come to an end maybe after watching this speaker card reading so whatever conflict you people are uh, facing in your love life that conflict is going to resolve and that is being promised and conveyed through the ten of wands because ten is a representation of 
completing your karmic cycle so this karmic cycle of conflict is going to come to an end so what is the thing where you both disconnect you are working together but when you are working together you people come up end up with disputes maybe regarding the sharing of work so you are doing this work and you are doing this work maybe you want to be leading again and maybe they say that you know uh i will not do the assignments which you want me to do i will do what i like or i will do the way i like or i will do the the like whenever i like but you say no you have to do it you have to do like this you have to complete in this much time this is your target and this is the way this is the plan and you do, your partner don't want to stick to your plan or you say that i am the one who is doing more work i am the one who is uh, like taking up all the assignments like 80% of work is done by me and you are doing the rest of 20% or they might say that i am doing more work and you are doing lesser work so there is always discussion and argument regarding the sharing of the work like who is taking how much burden so you think that you say that this work has really created a lot of burden into my head and a lot of Uh, like stress in my body so ah uh, like i don't want to i want to cut off a little work and i want to give it to you and similar is their opinion so you people fight for silly silly things so that can be easily resolved that is not a big issue i find i feel through my experience that this kind of things happen when you are in uh beginning of your relationships you know like but as you increase the compatibility these things will slowly move away by themselves so those who have chosen pile 3 i find that you people are fighting over little little silly silly things and that could be easily resolved and what you have to understand is that i uh, this is for both of you for you and also for your partner because i see your partner loves you more than you do because there is a cups here a cup cups is an indication and representation representation of love from their side but from your side i don't see uh, the cups energy but i see more of the leadership skills and leadership qualities like you are always behaving like an emperor so what i want to suggest both of you all that you know if both you both of you love to enjoy juicy mangoes and you bring a little mango plant and you water it every day every morning and evening every morning and evening and you are waiting that the mangoes will grow on tree on the plant and you will be able to pluck the mangoes and eat them but what you have to understand that till the summer is near the mangoes will not grow on the tree because summer is the season where you can enjoy mangoes so you have to wait what i mean to say through this is that you have to wait for the right time and when the right time comes all these conflicts will be vanished so that is really nice to know that you people connect to each other to make your future bright and you are ambitions are so strong and at intellectual level also you people are very very connected so it is just about learning to have a little more patience so that you can resolve all the conflicts in your relationship so that is about those who have chosen pile 3 how to resolve the conflicts in your love life 
with this we come to an end for today's reading which was really really very interesting and i hope that you resonated with what all we have discussed and uh, i really enjoyed doing today's reading and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do press the bell icon at your right side and uh, so that you will be notified with all the videos as soon as i upload them and follow me on instagram because the content i'm going to share on instagram is very different you won't find that in on youtube so do follow me on instagram and uh, i'm waiting for your valuable comments i'm waiting to listen from your side and i want all the viewers of today's pick a card reading to apply what they have learned from the tarot cards what the tarot cards have said to them or conveyed to them through me so apply this in your life and uh, give wings to your dreams and be together love should be always there compassion should be always there feel the real warmth of the love keep loving lots of blessings from goddess white tara until next time take care bye bye astu